Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Pink Curl Diaries. The documentation of my journey towards creating the perfect vintage brush out hairstyle. In the past episodes I have learned so much about pink curling and brush outs and just vintage hairstyling in general. One of the things that I know now is that everything pretty much depends on the set that you do the pink curl set or the dry set wet set whatever i had like a kind of standard set that i would use and it worked all right i mean in the last episode i had a really really good set in the end but today i thought i would look up an actual vintage one from a guide, you know, a hairdressing guide from that period. I'm pretty sure this is 50s, one that I have right here. And I'm gonna try that today. And then of course, I will be back to you tomorrow to show you the results, do the brush out and everything. But right now it's time to set my hair. This is the styling manual that I have found. I found it through Pinterest. It looks pretty authentic, only the text has been rewritten. But the person who uploaded this did mention that she kind of read it the text so that it was more legible. Yeah, this is the style. It's called Glamorous Casual. Um, it's meant for longer hair, I can see by the length of this lady's hair right there. And it's a pretty simple manual, so it states the curls and the directions and everything, even the amount of curls, so that should definitely be something I'm able to do. So another thing is I have gotten contradicting <laughs> opinions on whether hair should be freshly washed or slightly dirty or as dirty as possible when you go into a set you know, of pink curls. In the previous few videos, I'm pretty sure I did it on second or third day hair. So today I'm gonna try the opposite. I'm gonna try it on freshly washed hair. So I worked out, as you can probably tell by my rather out of character outfit. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop into the shower, wash my hair, dry it, and then do this set. All right, I've got my set. It's pretty hard to see, but oh, some parts are already coming loose. My problem with this set is that, as you can see from this graphic here, there are about three times as many curls at the front as they are at the back. So my curls in the front are super, super tiny. Like I couldn't even do as many as are suggested just because I ran out of hair. And I think it's no good making curls that are literally like three hairs. And then in the back, my curls are massive and I need two or three pins to hold them down because I do have a lot of hair there. So I'm not entirely sure that that's supposed to happen, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is, following that graphic there, and we'll see how this turns out tomorrow. So I'm gonna cover this up with a hairnet and I will see you then. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, and as you can see, my set is still in. It's looking pretty good. I'm very satisfied with the way it's held up so far. So it's time to take it out, brush it out, see the results. This is always the most exciting part, in my opinion, because this can go many different ways. <laughs> Let's take a look. So I'm gonna try and remove my hairnet first. Get it out of all of these bobby pins. <laughs> this is where the trouble starts. There is one distinctly failed curl, but everything else looks good so far. Um, as expected, these front curls here are super tight because I made them super tiny. The back ones are much looser. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Pretty sure this isn't going to be my favorite set. And I do think I have another filled curl here. But that's just because they, I had to make those back ones so huge. Okay, I'm going to brush it out. Oh, by the way, something I forgot to mention. Of course, I did spray my curls with my mixture of water and setting lotion, as always. When I was setting them yesterday, I did a spritz on each individual curl as I was rolling it and then I did a, another kind of like finishing spritz all over when the whole set was done. So far so good, I should be able to incorporate those failed curls in and they'll kind of mold with the rest, hopefully. So yeah, let's just continue brushing. All right, let's check this out from the back. I have no idea how this looks. <laughs> This is 
where we're at right now. So I'm just gonna check with two mirrors and see if I need to do any more work. It did definitely need another brushing, so here is what I have right now. Um, yeah, it's definitely not my favorite set I've done so far. I'm still not quite sure whether I actually did it right, because the front is so much tighter than the back, which was to be expected, of course, since the curls in the back were so much bigger. The fact that I had to do the curls in the back at kind of two different directions. Like, there was a split down the center and then you were supposed to curl all of it towards your face. The curls on the one side towards your face and the curls on the other side towards your face. So they are facing opposite directions, which now makes them want to split in the center. So I'm not quite sure I'm into that, but it did work out quite well. I think it is super tight around here like this. Look at that. <laughs> So I'm hoping this relaxes throughout the day. I do think I'm gonna give it a spray right now and then hope it relaxes quickly because yeah, this is definitely not my favorite. I liked my own set way better. So next time I'm gonna try a different one. <laughs> Maybe one of the celebrity ones. I did find a few kind of like celebrity sets. So I might try the Veronica Lake next time. Okay, I'm gonna spray this and I will check in with you in a few hours to see how we're doing. All right, it is five o'clock and this is how we're looking right now. I did end up pitting some little pieces here and there. One thing I did figure out a few episodes ago is that my hair just isn't the right haircut for these hairstyles. I kind of cheat my way around that by pinning some pieces up. So for example, I have this front bit pinned um, right behind my ear here. And then the whole bottom pretty much of my hair, I just have pinned to the nape of my neck to create a little bit of a bob, shorter hairstyle-ish thing. That being said, I think it still looks pretty good. I do need a quick little brush through just to freshen this up. I'm leaving to go to my friends. I'm gonna play Dungeons and Dragons tonight. So I think I'm just gonna give it a quick brush through and then I will be back. Um, later tonight when we get back and show you how it looks then. I did go out a few times already today, so yeah, this is a little windswept and everything and I'm pretty sure I got rain dodges a little bit. Yeah, it did come down a little bit, but all right, enough talking. I'm gonna <laughs> give it that brush that I'm talking about and then I'll see you later. It's kind of hard to tell because it's really dark in here, but this is how we're looking right now. It is about half past 12 at night. Pretty late, um, so it's been a while. It has definitely fallen down a lot. And I'm not sure how hopeful I am for tomorrow. I did have to pin it up higher um, after I brushed it. Second time today, because I do feel like my curls are loosening up very quickly. It's probably because of the rain, just the humidity in the air. And that's something that bothers me probably the most is that longevity and just the success of the set in general is so dependent on the weather. <laughs> which tends to be very rainy and humid over here a lot. So yeah, I am going to try and pin these curls up in a way to kind of preserve them um, throughout the night. So I think I'm just gonna try and form however many curls will naturally form when I take my pins out in the back and then put my hairnet back on and then see, you know, how well we can save this tomorrow or if it at least still looks like a nice hairdo tomorrow so I will see you in the morning. Good morning everyone it is the next day and this is what my hair currently looks like I'm not entirely sure the curls made it through the night so we're gonna see just what I can make of this um, I do think I can say this is not my most long-lasting set so far but again I'm pretty sure it's due to the weather so let's see what we do have today I have a shoot later today so it better be good <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo it some way. That is not bad at all, actually. It's that very beautiful, typical kind of glamour wave that I always tend to get with second day pin curls. So I'm actually really happy with this. 
I think it looks really nice and I can definitely work with this for the day. I may do a bit of a, just a little bit of a back comb on the top here to give it a bit more volume. Since we're going for the super glamorous look anyway, might as well take it all the way then. Alright, so this is the second day result. Looks like I'm gonna be doing my shoot full diva style today. <laughs> Yeah, I really, I really like this. I think I personally actually prefer this to yesterday's look or kind of like the more relaxed 50s Hollywood glamour look to the more kind of casual 40s, I guess. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. I think I'm gonna just keep you updated really casually throughout the day again how this goes, see how this looks by the time I actually go to my shoot tonight. So I will see you again later today. It is almost 8 o'clock right now, and this is how it looks at the end of the day. So we're still looking pretty good if you ask me. Still nice glamorous waves. I do think I'm just gonna redo that back combing on top just a little bit. And then I think I'm just gonna leave it like this actually, so yay! <laughs> I do think it's raining outside though, so I do need to cover this up somehow, otherwise it will just completely disappear, but yeah, looking good so far. Hello everyone, it is a new day once again. And my hair is disastrous. <laughs> it was alright yesterday night, it made it through the shoot just fine. Um, but I did get rained on again on the way home. And I got home super late, like way later than I was expecting. It was past midnight and I just couldn't be bothered anymore. So I just threw it up in a bun and now it is this. So I think it's time to say goodbye to this set for now. I think this is as far as I'm gonna get with this. Uh, plus I need to film a Halloween tutorial today. So I have to, you know, do something else with my hair anyway. So... Yeah, that ends the casual, casual glamour, <laughs> something like that, set. It's the oven beeping, <laughs> lunch is ready. I think I'm gonna end this video here. I had a very good two days, um, like I mentioned, not my favorite set. I'm gonna try a different one next time, but I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pink Girl Diaries. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There's another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!